It's week 36 of A Year of Wisdom. Let's get to reading. Day 251, Job 8. Then Bildad the Shuhite replied, How long will you go on saying such things? The words of your mouth are a blustering wind. Does God pervert justice? Does the Almighty pervert what is right? When your children sinned against him, he gave them over to their rebellion. But if you would earnestly seek God and ask the Almighty for mercy, if you're pure and upright, even now he will rouse himself on your behalf and restore your righteous estate. Though your beginnings were modest, your latter days will flourish. Please inquire of past generations and consider the discoveries of their fathers. For we were born yesterday and know nothing. Our days on earth are but a shadow. Will they not teach you and tell you and speak from their understanding? Does papyrus grow where there is no marsh? Do reeds flourish without water? While the shoots are still uncut, they dry up quicker than grass. Such is the destiny of all who forget God. So the hope of the godless will perish. His confidence is fragile. His security is in a spider's web. He leans on his web, but it gives way. He holds fast, but it does not endure. He is a well-watered plant in the sunshine, spreading its shoots over the garden. His roots wrap around the rock heap. He looks for a home among the stones. If he is uprooted from his place, it will disown him, saying, I never saw you. Surely this is the joy of his way, yet others will spring from the dust. Behold, God does not reject the blameless, nor will he strengthen the hand of evildoers. He will yet fill your mouth with laughter and your lips with the shout of joy. Your enemies will be clothed in shame, and the tent of the wicked will be no more. Proverbs 8 Does not wisdom call out and understanding raise her voice? On the heights overlooking the road at the crossroads, she takes her stand. Beside the gates to the city, at the entrances, she cries out, To you, O men, I call out, and my cry is to the sons of men. O simple ones, learn to be shrewd. O fools, gain understanding. Listen, for I speak of noble things, and the opening of my lips will reveal right. For my mouth will speak the truth, and wickedness is detestable to my lips. All the words of my mouth are righteous, none are crooked or perverse. They are all plain to the discerning and upright to those who find knowledge. Receive my instruction instead of silver, and knowledge rather than pure gold. For wisdom is more precious than rubies, and nothing you desire compares with her. I, wisdom, dwell together with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. To fear the Lord is to hate evil. I hate arrogant pride, evil conduct, and perverse speech. Counsel and sound judgment are mine. I have insight and strength. By me, kings reign, and rulers enact just laws. By me, princes rule, and all nobles who govern justly. I love those who love me, and those who seek me early shall find me. With me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, pure gold, and my harvest surpasses choice silver. I walk in the way of righteousness along the paths of justice, bestowing wealth on those who love me and make their treasuries full. The Lord created me as his first course, before his works of old. From everlasting I was established from the beginning before the earth began. When there were no watery depths, I was brought forth when no springs were overflowing with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. Before he made the land or fields or any of the dust of the earth. I was there when he established the heavens, when he inscribed a circle on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when the fountains of the deep gushed forth, when he set a boundary for the sea so that the waters would not surpass his command when he marked out the foundations of the earth. Then I was a skilled craftsman at his side and his delight day by day, rejoicing always in his presence. I was rejoicing in his whole world, delighting together in the sons of men. Now therefore, my sons, listen to me, for blessed are those who keep my ways. Listen to my instruction and be wise. Do not ignore it. 
Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at the posts of my doorway. For whoever finds me finds life and obtains the favor of the Lord. But he who fails to find me harms himself. All who hate me love death. Ecclesiastes 8 Who is like the wise man? Who knows the interpretation of a matter? A man's wisdom brightens his face, and the sternness of his face is changed. Keep the king's command, I say, because of your oath before God. Do not hasten to leave his presence, and do not persist in a bad cause, for he will do whatever he pleases. For the king's word is supreme, and who can say to him, What are you doing? Whoever keeps his command will come to no harm, and a wise heart knows the right time and procedure. For there is a right time and procedure to every purpose, though a man's misery weighs heavily upon him. Since no one knows what will happen, who can tell him what is to come? As no man has power over the wind to contain it, so no one has authority over his day of death. As no one can be discharged in wartime, so wickedness will not release those who practice it. All this I have seen, applying my mind to every deed that is done under the sun. There's a time when one man lords it over another to his own detriment. Then too, I saw the burial of the wicked who used to go in and out of the holy place, and they were praised in the city where they had done so. This too is futile. When the sentence for a crime is not speedily executed, the hearts of the men become fully set on doing evil. Although a sinner does evil at a hundred times and still lives long, yet I also know that it will go well with those who fear God, who are reverent in his presence. Yet because the wicked do not fear God, it will not go well with them, and their days will not lengthen like a shadow. There is a futility that is done on earth. There are righteous men who get what the actions of the wicked deserve, and there are wicked men who get what the actions of the righteous deserve. I say that this too is futile. So I commended the enjoyment of life because there's nothing better for a man under the sun than to eat and drink and be merry. For this joy will accompany him in his labor during the days of his life that God gives him under the sun. When I applied my mind to know wisdom and to observe the task that one performs on the earth, though his eyes do not see sleep in the day or even in the night, I saw every work of God and that a man is unable to comprehend the work that is done under the sun. Despite his efforts to search it out, he cannot find its meaning. Even if the wise man claims to know, he's unable to comprehend. And as always, thank you so much for being here today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button right there. And click the bell if you want to get notifications. And, my heart is and hit that like button too for me. And I, I will see without you a doubt. Tomorrow. You carry me out of the storm I'm standing at the crossroads I'm lost without a clue I need a big pink neon sign To show me what to do I thank you, Lord It glorifies you when you're the only answer I praise you, Lord, for holding what's too much for me. And I'm amazed by you, Lord, because nothing's too big and nothing's too small to lay at your feet.